so my name is Dorian Gorski. Uh, I've been in the Amazon space for 11 years, uh, working as a creative director. Um, I think I've launched and helped to launch over 3,000 products by now. Uh, in the past few months and the past year, I guess, uh, maybe like most of people around the world, I was mesmerized by what's happening with the, the AI world. I started using it and I thought, okay, if .com uh, happened again, what would I do? I would jump into it straight away. So that's what I did with Kepler. Um, I basically developed tools that I thought would be useful for myself first. And then I thought, hmm, here's an idea. Maybe some other people will want to use it. So um, we've developed Kepler. We currently run in beta. Uh, and hopefully we'll see if people find it interesting. So um, let me just share my screen and we can dive into it. Okay, cool. Can you see my presentation? All right. So uh, first of all, huge thank you to Nick for inviting me to this webinar. He told me I have 10 minutes, so I need to hurry. Uh, so today I want to talk about something that I wanted to do for many years, and that is to make you all more creative and courageous. And I will show you how I came up with a product and brand idea in just 34 minutes. But what makes this workflow different probably from all the AI creative workflows you have seen so far is the fact that it's all based on data and not just any data, Amazon specific and product specific. But first I want to start with this quote. And I think a lot of businesses I've seen in our space are failing because they all they hear is to be different on, or to differentiate. But being different doesn't actually mean to, it's you better. And it's very easy to be different, but very difficult to be better. And you might recognize this guy who said it, John Ive from Apple. And I also love this guy, James Dyson, 5,127 prototypes. And most people thought his ideas are ridiculous and too expensive to make. Or Sarah Blake's story uh, with no formal training, she reimagined pantyhose giving birth to spanks. And her journey is a statement to innovation, born from necessity, a sheer world, and just experimentation. So you need to shift your mindset in order to be successful. And as a brand owner, the question you need to ask yourself is not how well am I managing, but is it, but what am I actually creating? So today to help you move the needle in the right direction, we'll focus on three crucial steps, discover, define, and ideate. So when it comes to discovery, it's all about understanding your customers through real data, not assumptions. And Kepler excels in gathering and organizing vast amounts of information to clearly define who is the target audience and how they use the product. Um, when it comes to defining, identify the essential product features and customer needs. Seek innovation, not just mere differentiation. Strive to be better in every single aspect. And when it comes to ideation, and we all know this, AI's fearlessness and unbiased imagination can really spark ideas beyond your wildest dreams sometimes. And it's not perfect. And as a creative director with 11 years of running projects, I always tell my team, Give me 100 bad ideas, and in those, I'll find one that's great. And here's a quick breakdown of Kepler capabilities. We're running it on fine-tuned GBT 3.5 Turbo. Starts at $49 per month, and it comes with three creative GBT co-pilots. So let's start with our case study and with our Kepler discovery process. Um, so let's call, kick off with a simple search. I simply look for my keyword and sorted by sales. I just want to know which products are most popular, sell the most, and then I visually assess the type of product I want to go after. Um, so let's take a look at the next step, which is Kepler gathering all the important information about your product or group of products that you're after. Here I have decided to pick a category of sports water bottles. Um, and I can tell that most of people that buy in it are male. Uh, there's mentions of friend, husband, uh, the, the main usage patterns seem to be gym workouts, um, other ones, you know, out there running, hiking, but not so prominent. What people like about it, style is the design. I can quickly scroll uh, to see the corresponding uh, reviews for that specific um, analysis. Uh, cons, 
which are the most interesting, breaks easily. It's too small, prone to leaking, lead issues, and few other people things that people complain about. And Keplo gives you actually product improvement ideas in the analysis, and it's all based on the usage patterns. It's all based on the um, on all the analysis, um, and you can start you know you can start ideating and you know here in in Keplo. Um, it also gives you ideas around content plan as well, so you can start preparing kind of like what what would be the ideal um, uh, product and content around it. So let's jump to our case study, Carbon Core. And truth be told, I am not sure if a brand like this exists, um, but it, you know I made it. I've made it on Monday this morning. Uh, sorry, this week, and it only took me 34 minutes. So apologize if this is someone's brand uh, or name. Uh, and I, I should not make all decisions for you. So I wanna be uh, really clear with that, especially the important ones. So things like problem solution statement, I would write myself and I urge you to do the same, but do it after you consume all the analysis, all the data. Uh, so here the problem is, Jim Go has often struggled with fragile leaky plastic bottles, et cetera. The solution will be to introduce a more durable leak proof bottle for, uh, for the target audience. Um, and the great thing about Keplo in the UI, we have actually uh, developed dev books, which we call, which we call them dev books. Um, and so you can actually take notes and write things on the go, and you can forget about you know those ugly spreadsheets or you know uh, documents all over the place. It's all integrated within our app, and you can uh, basically write, share, um, and download all of this. So let's define the product a bit more. And what we will use for this is a, a, our a product co-pilot GPT. So we have trained the co-pilot on tons of data around product development processes and data analysis. The only thing you really need to do is just to drop your capital research, give it a bit more information if you, if you want to, and our co-pilot will guide you in the process of defining the product improvement opportunities even further. So here's a summary of a five minute exchange just with the co a product co-pilot based on the analysis that we've made. The new product is a light, well, ultra durable companion for your workouts designed with ergonomic handle a comfortable grip. I'm going to dive into each feature separately because the co-pilot broke it down. So here's the thing. Why not carbon fiber? Probably thousands of reasons uh, why not, but let's stick with it this crazy idea and see where it, it, it will get us. It kind of makes sense if you read the benefits. You know, it's really lightweight and it's really strong. Um, low thermal expansions. It's eco-friendly even because it has a longer life cycle. Uh, larger capacity for and handle for gym folks. That makes sense, right? Uh, comfortable and secure grip. Uh, and this one surprised me. So Keplo Copilot insisted that the product should have a protein powder compartment somewhere. The image that it created is a bit weird, but the fact that it just gave me the idea to put a protein powder compartment somewhere in the bottle. Large, so the other thing is if it, if it has a protein powder compact feature, it asked me to create the large mouth opening for that product also for the easy filling and cleaning. And the last one, which I love the most, is the reinforced lid idea. I was not sure where I was trying to go with this one, but it made a lot of sense after just two minutes of looking at it, and I'll show you how. So now we can jump into ideation, and here your job is to take the ideas further and refine them. And here I'm using an app called Crea, and I'll be giving a full training to those joining Keplo in the coming weeks. But the simple goal of this is just to bypass sketching if you don't know how to sketch, and just quickly mock up and refine your product idea. And boom, in a matter of few minutes, we have our initial idea of carbon core, insanely durable water bottle for gym freaks. It features carbon fiber material, a large capacity, um, uh, a large handle with a rubber grip, large mouth, a bottom compartment for your protein powder, and you can see on the, 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 on the right hand side the lid feature. Now it makes sense. It could work like a, I don't know, a kettle, some sort of mechanism to keep your lid always closed uh, when not in use, or quick access to, uh, to drink quickly in the gym. And I mean, what a great idea. And the thing is, it's crazy, but you, then you take this, you go to your manufacturer and see, okay, Actually, what can we what can we do with it? You know, it's probably this will probably be very expensive to make, but I don't know. Go on Amazon, see if there's anything similar to this. Probably not, but you can take some of these features and start uh, working on those. And now, the other thing we can do is to come up quickly with branding direction. This part, uh, this part, sellers get wrong because you start with the products, not the brand first. 
So similar to previous co-pilot, you just drop your research with relevant additional information and Capital GBT will click, quickly ideate uh, on some brand strategy. So you can see it's just uh, guiding me through some ide ideas and providing with some images. So boom, we, ha we have our mission statement. We have a target audience defined, uh, some sort of a logo idea. Not great, but you know, there's a direction, uh, brand colors, typography. And last but not least, we also have a content compiler. Uh, drop your research and it will focus on providing you with content plan and image direction. It's so good because the content it creates speaks directly to the audience. And now you can use Canva just to make some very simple mockups, nothing complicated. And you can see guys like, here's a quick idea. And it only took me 34 minutes. Now, if you work 50 hours a week, that is just 1% of your time spent on ideation and creativity. And it's really fun. Uh, and here's a quick summary of the process. So you can take a screenshot of that if you want. Um, and I just want to say, start with curiosity. We are all designers. Ideas are cheap, powered by AI and data, and fueled by your emotional intelligence. Make it your habit and innovate. And you probably have heard this. AI will not replace humans, but humans who use AI will replace, replace those who don't. And please pay attention to this quick discussion I had with one of my favorite founders, Danny from Ototo. You might not hear the sound, I'm not sure, but maybe you can read the captions. If you could send one message to Amazon sellers for, and one tip for 2024 to be more successful, um, what would you say? I would say invest in, in, in the early process on the ideation, brainstorming, understand your consumer needs before you go ahead with a new product. And I bet it will be a great uh, secret sauce for your brand. So I know most of you are not creative, but you don't have to be anymore. The worst you can do is to wait to get good at something. So perfectionism doesn't actually advance anything. <laughs> Sorry. So we're launching better now. Starts 49 bucks a month. Uh, you can go to Kepler.com and register. And please, please share this with your friends and everyone because it will help us to launch and give you awesome features that you can, you know, play with. Thank you. Uh, that's me. Add me on LinkedIn. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions.